It is that time of year, kids heading back to school, but classrooms could still come, could now come equipped with something you might not expect. According to a New York Times report, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos is considering allowing states to use federal funding to buy guns for school teachers. A school safety bill Congress passed in March allocated $50 million a year to local school districts, but the bill explicitly prohibited federal funds for firearms. The Education Department is instead looking to use a program in the federal education law called the Student Support and Academic Enrichment Grants, which says nothing about prohibiting gun purchases, leaving it to the discretion of DeVos to approve any plans for firearms and firearms training. Let's bring in Ben White once again, Noel Nickpour, Robert Bianchi. So I know, Noel, you've supported an NRA plan called the School Shield Program, right. uh, and you think they should pay for this. The, the that program, obviously, is, is it right to be using federal funds for this? Well, you know, I think that it would be better if the NRA uh, would, you know, I think they'd make a lot of people happy, may, maybe make a lot of people more sympathetic to what the NRA really does and what they stand for if they would uh, implement that uh, safety shield program again to where, you know, they would, let's just say they put a security guard or they would do something like that. You have to defend yourself from these school shootings. Look, I, you know, I, gun control, not gun control, whether you're for it or against it, you've got to do something well, because they are unarmed. That They are using desks and, and safe rooms as their only alternative to protect from a crazy shooter. I mean, but shooter. is that the only alternative, Ben? I mean, to, it, you have a gun or there's no other way to protect yourself? No, of course, there are other alternatives to trying to keep guns out of the hands of crazy people who come in and shoot up, uh, shoot up schools. So, uh, But I think when it comes to Betsy DeVos and this program, Congress has been pretty clear in its intent that it doesn't want want federal funds used to arm teachers. In this specific program, that language isn't there, but in this program, the money is supposed to be spent on school enrichment, programs for kids, programs to improve education. It's not supposed to be spent to put AK-47s in the hands of teachers. Uh, teachers Homeland don't Security? want them. Why can't Homeland Security take this over? Why is this the Department of Education? Why does Betsy DeVos have the burden of having to do gun control? I mean, why isn't Homeland Security? Well, it's not guys? gun control. That's not, it's, it's, it's not but, but, Robert, I know that you think teachers should be armed under certain circumstances. And you have some background on this. You were chief law enforcement officer for 44 police agencies where you set policies for officers and schools. For people who are against this, for teachers, and I've heard a lot of them, I've covered far too many of these school shootings, who want to spend their time, their talent, their energy on teaching children... Sure. What do you say to I've, them? I've listened to all the arguments. I get it. it. There's no perfect solution here. But the bottom line is our kids are soft targets. These schools cannot be properly secured. I've gone out and literally evaluated them. And more and more of this happens. You have a perimeter around these kids. There has to be something done to interdict. It's like the bank robbery scenario. Why do they rob banks? Because they know there's no guns and they know there's not going to be any violence and they can get in and they can get out. I'm sorry to say, with the proper protocols, most of the law enforcement officers I talk and to, and experts. you have to put a law in place that there's no liability for the teacher because I can tell you, and you know this, most law enforcement officers on the job never discharge a firearm. That's right. right. So as a teacher, as a teacher, and you've got a classroom of 20 or 30 or 40 kids, mm -hmm. and you have to get it right. Really? Well, the training has to be done exactly as it would be for the law Police enforcement officers. Police are trained, officers. and they're trained on a regular and they, basis. And they should train. That's the point. It has to be properly trained on a regular basis, exactly as the cops do, about use of force. I'm not saying that it's a great thing to do, but we can't allow our kids to be subjected to be shotting up like this. And you know what we have to do as law enforcement people, Chris? we got to come to the scene with body bags because we have no opportunity at that time to do anything because we're not proactive. I'm sorry to say. I, it's just hard to believe we get to the point in this country where the, the alternative is to put the guns in the hands of teachers who have no idea how to use them, who don't want to use them. I have kids in schools. I do not want my teachers having guns in their drawers. Yeah, and that's and that's and I will, I will, I will, when they, I will when they have a security guard who has a the gun. The security guard cannot officer do all the gun. exits. We've done all that. We've done all the target so hard you're analysis. you're saying the Wait, answer in this answer, country right now is to put question. guns in the hands I'm of teachers. I'm telling you as a guy who really did it for a living, it is impossible to secure the schools 
so that there can't be ingress here, period, end of story. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I like it, but it needs to be done. I'm going to make one more point that you can take for what it's worth. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, the average teacher, out of their own pocket, and they're not getting rich being a teacher, spends $479 to help kids get school supplies. So we're talking about not taking money to make sure mm -hmm. that a kid has a pencil or a notebook yeah. or a book. That's why another department needs to fund it, Homeland Security. <sighs> Coming. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.